we're going to be talking about comparing and contrasting two themes. In this example, it will be in just one book called The Giver of Stars, and there are two themes. One is conforming in society and non-conforming. So using two different characters and the way they respond to the pressures of their area where they live, then we can go ahead and compare and contrast the two themes. So the first thing you should do is get information. So we already read about how to do MLA format. We took an example and then we applied the page number and our own thoughts. So remember, these are our thoughts right here. And then we used evidence from the text and MLA format there. We're going to do the same thing. We're always going to have a works cited page at the end of our essay. And now we're going to dig deeper into Marjorie, the character. So she's non-conforming. And she encourages Alice to not think about what other people think in the town of, of her. This is Marjorie being bullied by a man with a gun. And how she says... She tries to just be assertive because she's on a horse when she's seeing this man, and this man's on a horse too. So there's, she has to watch out or she'll be fall off the horse or the horse will run over her. So she has to think about what she's going to do to protect herself. She's very capable, so it just describes what she does to get out of that situation here. And I have the page number. And now Alice. These are her traits. She's very compliant, which is the opposite of Marjorie. And here's the quote. She's talking about having to do all the same things that women are doing. And she doesn't feel like needle pointing and quilting and listening to sermons. She just wants to explore on her own. She's shy. She has a husband. Um, and She's always trying to please him, so and he complains because she he wants her to be as refined as he thought she was when he married her, and she's a beautiful woman, so she gets attention, but she's also impulsive, so if she sees an opportunity to go outside of what people expect of her, she'll do it, but she doesn't really assert herself. She tries to, but she's not following through with actions and that's where you see her character change because she's in, she's influenced by Marjorie. So now here are the similarities and here are the differences. Similarities, when you're comparing, that's uh, what you're doing is you're finding similarities. You're using these words as signal words to tell the reader that's what you're trying to do as a writer is to show what's the same or similar. And then also there's going to be differences. And that's this column. So you're going to use those words as signal words. So as you introduce your thoughts, that's what you will use. So here are what's similar about Marjorie and Alice. And I put the page numbers here with the actual text. So now I have to think about what I want to say to bring these two ladies together in my explanation. And lastly, uh, this shows an actual example paragraph. It's rough, but here's a paragraph that shows I'm using the word similarly. I have my own thoughts here explaining why they're acting this way and showing in this paragraph examples of Marjorie and of Alice, of her advising Alice to look outwards, not inwards, and not at what other people are thinking of her or saying about her. And that is an example of how you would use two themes and look at similarities and differences and to use your own words and use evidence from the text.